Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to get a command event and slash command handler. So first off, you can install Node.js. As usual, you're going to do all uh, install the runtime. And then uh, we're going to use Visual Studio Code. So you can just install it over here. And then uh, the next link you want to go to is my GitHub repo. So in this repo, you can actually see I already made a event handler, a command handler, as well as a slash command handler. So let me just dig into the code for a minute. Um, just go to interaction create. So I've made some changes in here. So basically, it's now supporting sub commands as well with its own arguments. So you can use sub commands in there as well, and then you can also get the uh, normal argument system in here. All right. So the reason I make this repository with the slash command handler is because um, Discord JS has been getting updates uh pretty frequently. So it's it was interaction options so array if you have uh if you remember what I did in the video. So if you want to check for new changes, latest changes, just come into this repository and then you can see the latest changes. For now it's gonna be interaction.options.data. So pretty simple, I'm gonna teach you guys how to actually uh get this report uh get this command handler. So just click on code, you want to copy this link over in here, just click on that. Okay, just open your terminal or you can use a uh, command prompt, PowerShell, whatever it is, and you can go to one of your directories. So I'm currently in documents slash YouTube. So in here, uh, make sure you install Git as well. So I think it's Git. Let me just do install Git. And then uh, you're just gonna install Git from here, or you can actually click on download zip and then you can extract the zip like that way. Or else you can just install zip, uh, I mean install git, and you can just install it. It's way more easier. All right. So let I'm just going to use git because it's way easier. So just copy this once again, open up your terminal, git clone, and then you're going to pass in the link in here, hit enter. Okay. So once it's done downloading, just going to do cd, and then you're going to go into the, uh, you want to go into the Thing that you cloned just now and then we're just going to use code dot to open it with visual studio code so here is our visual studio code so i'm not going to touch this first we're going to go back into discord.com slash developers with the ability to create slash commands in your discord server so we're going to go in here and then we're going to click on new application we're just going to do we're going to type in a name which is going to be djs uh version 13 bot whatever you want to call it let's click on create all right, and then we're redirected into this page. Okay, so we can go into bot, and then we're gonna add a bot first. So just do it. Okay, and then you wanna enable both of this intents. So just enable both of these. Okay, there will be a message content intent soon. I'm pretty sure, but for now we're just not gonna worry about it. All right. So for bot permissions, um. Okay, we're not going to use it from here. We're just going to do it from OAuth 2. So we can just click on bot. Where is bot? Okay, it's here. And then want to click on command. So just click on the uh, application.commands and bot as well. So you can choose your own permissions. I'm just going to choose administrator. And then you just click on copy. You want to copy this link. You want to go to a new tab. And then you want to paste this in. Okay, so I'm just going to invite it to my YouTube server. So let me just go in here and then just click on authorize. Okay, captures again. All right, once you have invited your bot, you want to go back into here and then you want to get the bot's token. So just click on bot, scroll up, you should see a copy in here. Make sure you are in the bot section and not the general information section. So go into bot and then click on copy the token. Okay. Once you copy the token, you want to go back to Visual Studio Code. So we need to go to config.json. So just click on config.json and then you should see a few options. So you can have a token. So we're going to put in our token. All right. And then you can choose your prefix. You can do whatever prefix you want. I'm just going to keep it your default, which is the exclamation mark. And then you can have a option to pass in your mongoose connection string. Um, if you don't pass in a string, it's fine. It's not going to connect. If you pass in a string, it's going to connect to MongoDB. So you don't need to follow that. Uh, you don't need to watch that tutorial anymore. But you do need to watch the tutorial to get the connection string, though. All right. So um, this is the command handler, basically. All right. So open up your terminal and let's just install all the dependencies. So we can do it by simply doing npm i. And then yeah, we get all of our dependencies. All right. To start the bot, we can simply use the npm run or npm start if we want. 
Okay, you can use npm start or node index.js, whatever you want. There's two scripts, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there's start and there's test in here. So as you can see here, Discord.js version 13 bot, this is your bot tag, and then it's up and ready to go. So if I go back to Discord, and I should see the bot is online right now. So uh, let's go back to Visual Studio Code, and let me just show you guys I already made a uh, ping slash command. So this is how you make slash commands. If you don't know what this is, or you want to learn how to make your own slash commands, you see a card that you click on, on the screen right now. Just click on that. There's a full guide on how to create slash commands. And we only have a slash command. And then let me just try this slash command out. Oh, before that, we actually need to specify our guild ID. So you want to go to handler. Okay, and then click on index.js. All right, scroll down until you go to line 43, you see a get, you want to change this to a guild ID. So if it's empty, if it's empty like this, you're just going to do a string. And then you want to go to Discord, click on uh, and copy your ID. So you just copy your ID and paste it in here. All right, once you paste it in there, you can just restart the bot and then you should see the slash commands. So let me just go back to Discord. So now we're on Discord, so let's just test this out. So I currently have two bots, so I must make sure that it's the Discord JS version 13 bot. And if I try to use the slash command, it should say that the, uh, so you should say our ping and it's going to use a follow up function. And then, uh, we can try as well using the normal command exclamation mark ping and then we should get our ping back. So yeah, this is basically the command event and, uh, slash command handler. If you face any errors, feel free to join the support server. Links will be in the description. Other than that, have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye.